This is where I need you to never forget. God is not like our earthly fathers. Numbers 23, 19 says this, God is not a man, so he does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried through? I get it. Many of you have been lied to by your daddies. They said that they were going to be there, and they didn't. They weren't. They said they were going to be on time, and they weren't. They said they were going to punish you, and they didn't. They said that they would love your mama forever, and they haven't. I get it. Your earthly fathers have let you down, but can I... One of the greatest things, even though you know how much I love my daddy, one of the greatest things God gave me was to realize that God is not like my earthly father. He's so much better. You say, Randy, why is that so important for us today? Because of this truth. Once we're truly saved, we're always saved. I have found that verses sometimes become so popular that people stop thinking about them. So can we read the most popular verse in the Bible, but this time actually think about it? John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall what? Not perish, but have what? Eternal life. What does the word not mean? It means it's not going to happen. If you're truly saved, you're not going to perish in hell. What does eternal life mean? What does eternal mean to you? It means from the moment that you are truly saved, not, by the way, rededicated, not, by the way, having an emotional commitment. No, I'm talking about you surrender. You give your heart to life. He gives your heart to God. He gives you a new heart. I'm talking about letting go and letting God. I'm talking about truly saying you are king, you are Lord, you are master, you are it. I am not. I want you. That's it. When that happens, you will not perish. Because you have eternal life.